Okay, RetroFam, we have another Mac here. This is a MacBook. And um, this is the motherboard. The problem is we have a black screen again. And as always, it's the graphic chip. This is the CPU combined with the GPU. It's an Intel CPU. And uh, when boot is complete, the Mac will initiate the graphics chip here, the AMD chip here. And uh, that's the problem. So sometimes they work and they start to boot. And uh, when they try to switch to the chip, to load the graphics drivers, they hang, they crash. That's that's a speaker there and uh, the porch of course and you can see it's not so much on here a small motherboard small Intel motherboard more or less the same as you find in any kind of PC today of course they have their modifications and uh, special BIOS but um, you know it's the same thing we're going to use the heating method here. I'm going to blow it with some air here. And I know some people hate it. They say it's not a permanent solution. But what is a permanent solution in this case? If you want this Mac to last forever for 200 years, it's not going to happen. But you can kind of stretch the money, all the money you spent on this Mac, and make it last a little bit longer using this method couple of years even so I'm gonna do this for a couple of minutes and uh, somehow this magic works 95% of the time it heats up the chip inside and I think some things you know fall in place I have no idea Someone should really do a follow-up to this and see what, what's really going on here, inside. Probably some loose connection. And this heat is not enough to melt the solder underneath the chip. So it's inside the chip. The problem is inside the chip. Okay. Hopefully that's enough. And here we see the fans. Make sure they're clean because that's one reason why the chip gets too hot. And make sure these that there's not nothing blocking the airflow through these heat elements here. These cooling elements, I mean. And uh, make sure the copper is nice and clean. And this is the Mac without the motherboard, the battery. And uh, let's start to assemble it. But first we need to mount the uh, cooling blocks. Okay, let's zoom in here a bit. And um, I'm gonna teach you a trick here. This is a where you need the cooling compound or cooling paste or that kind of gooey thing that you put between the CPU and the cooling block. It's to make a perfect, almost perfect connection between the top of the CPU and the GPU. So it really, really comes in contact with the cooling block. And uh, very important to uh, to do this right because um, otherwise you get bad cooling and you get hot chips and they break faster when they're hot just take your credit card <laughs> or whatever you have and uh, uh, this was not so easy I think you have to go the other way There we go. Just try to spread it evenly, like like uh, butter on a sandwich. Uh, 
Okay, so let's uh, find all the screws and mount the um, cooling block. It goes on like uh, this. And then these screws has uh, tiny springs to uh, keep the tension. If I can find my screwdriver. There we go. And you usually, I don't know if this is important, but it feels important to kind of um, do it the way you do when you change the tires on your car. So you kind of go up, down, side by side, and uh, you kind of, you know, keep the tension even as you mount uh, the cooling block here. So I go from side to side, like so. And then when I have all the screws in place, I tighten them. Because so imagine if I just really, really tighten the first screw, the whole thing would be a bit uh, bent. Ah, oh, you know what I mean. You know me, retro fam. I'm a bit tired today. I feel like I'm gonna get the flu or something. I'm working on uh, some great episodes for you, so they take some time. And uh, until those becomes available, I'm gonna give you small, kind of more episodes that are more easy to produce. And my ambition is to post at least one time a week. I really like the name change to Tech Jump. It's uh, much better. It feels better, don't you think? We changed the name on this channel if you knew. It used to be called uh, Unboxing the Universe. It was a kind of cool name, but it's too long. And uh, the channel has its own uh, URL on uh, YouTube. It's uh, www.youtube.com slash C slash TechJump in uh, one word without space. This little uh, cable is very easy to forget. And overall this is a very neat and uh, clean design and uh, very easy to take apart. Except for this little bastard. There we go. And then this cable to the left there can be a bit tricky. I destroyed one once. I think it was the first time that I messed with one of these computers. It comes from the screen and uh, it's not easy to uh, replace, so be careful. The same with these ribbon cables, they have really bad quality, Apple, on these things. <laughs>